Hey guys, welcome to another episode of 10 Years Later. Sorry that this one's coming out late, I actually forgot to do this one, but I'm catching up. Today's episode is about Doomsday, a film that was released on the 14th of March in 2008. It was written and directed by Neil Marshall, who was still riding on the fame of his big horror hit, The Descent. Other films under Marshall's belt include Dog Soldiers, Centurion, and actually the newest reboot of Hellboy. Doomsday is basically Marshall's love letter to Mad Max, but instead of it being crazy Australians, it's crazy Scottish. The film takes place a year after an outbreak of a Reaper virus, a pretty ugly skin disease, has wrecked all of Scotland. UK has completely cut off Scotland, they put a new Hadrian's Wall around it, and what we find later is that since London did such a shitty thing to Scotland, they have really kind of removed themselves from the world, and unemployment and social economy is in turmoil, and that breeds back the Reaper virus somehow. So it comes down to the main character Eden, played by Rhonda Mitra, who has to go into Scotland and find a cure for the virus. Now in all fairness, this film actually starts off pretty decently. It has a pretty cool narration by Malcolm McDowell, and we see a bunch of really cool gore, some horror effects. Once they go into Scotland, it actually gets pretty gnarly, and we are introduced to this character of Saul. Saul is the leader of the Scottish rebel Mad Max wannabes and in fact he's actually played by a guy called Craig Conway who was the lead or the main creepy crawly weird thing in The Descent so he's had history with Marshall. Saul is a pretty entertaining character and when he comes out onto the stage for this weird concert scene he's pretty hysterical however it's at that point where the movie just starts to dip into stupidville and it doesn't stop what we were given up until this point was the idea of a radical society where cannibalism is a main thing it's a big dish on the menu and when we get to this concert it is both entertaining as well as just a little bit silly get after the movie are more cool, if not interesting, ideas of what would happen in Scotland, say, if a virus of such a sort would happen. For instance, Malcolm McDowell has this castle society that is living and breathing pretty much in a medieval way. But otherwise, that's kind of it. There's this medieval society, and then there's the Mad Max wannabes. Otherwise, there's hidden Bentleys. So stupid. As I said earlier, this film starts off at a decent rate, with the virus ravaging through England, the whole stakes on the line, and even at one point, Bob Hoskins who tries to save the Prime Minister and he accidentally shoots a virus carrier and he goes all over the Prime Minister and he blows his own brains out. He's like, I was trying to save him! That Bentley scene. This Bentley scene is such a fucking advertisement. It doesn't hide itself at all. The car is ran by all these other Mad Max wannabe cars. It goes through a goddamn bus at one point, which explodes, of course, and and all they can say that happens to it is that a mirror falls off. Yeah, it's a cool idea, but it's dumb. It has some cool visual cues and visual concepts, but it's dumb. It has a very interesting updated version of a Mad Max-esque universe with a lot more human eating on the table, but it's still really dumb. The movie wasn't really received that well when it came out, and it hasn't aged well in my opinion. I've watched it several times over the years. I think I watched it about five years ago and that's just how unmemorable this movie is to me aside from the Bentley scene because it's so dumb. Doomsday is definitely a movie for people who enjoy post-apocalyptic movies and gore-filled films but in terms of a standout point for Neil Marshall it was a very big descent after the descent. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure to tune in for the next episode of 10 Years Later, which will be coming in about a few weeks. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, leave a like. If you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, that's all from me. I'll see you guys next time.